identifying the best product to create on Etsy can actually help you start and scale your Etsy shop faster and when you talk about creating products for q4 you definitely want to be mindful of the season that we're in and actually identify products that are selling well so you can recreate those products in your own unique way so in today's video i'm going to share with you what products are selling well for this q4 season and how you can take that design and recreate it yourself to start selling on etsy i'm sure this all with you coming up next Now the main way that we're going to sell our print on demand products is utilizing printify printify is my number one place to sell all of my print on demand products they have a ton of different print on demand products you can actually use just not t-shirts and sweatshirts like we'll talk about in today's video but multiple things you can start selling as well they connect well with etsy that means every time you get an order in etsy it will show up in printify exactly the person's name the shipping address and Printify would take care of all of the printing and shipping for you, really allowing this business to become passive. Now, if you want to check out Printify on your own, they were to kind of give my audience a discount code for you to use their premium version for 30 days absolutely for free. This premium version will allow you to get a major discount on all of your print on demand products, therefore helping you increase your profit margin so you can earn more profit in the long run. If you want to try this out on your own, I make sure to leave all the details in my description box below for you to check this out and to see if it is best for your print on demand business. All right, so before we get started creating our t-shirt, we definitely want to take some time and do product research. This is one of the main things you need to do to make sure that whatever product you are creating is following data so you know it's gonna help you drive sales. So in our case today, we definitely want to stick with the fall shirt designs and we want to look and see what type of fall designs are selling well. Now, obviously this is a very broad term. Of course, the competition is going to be extremely high, but again, I'm not concerned about competition because once you start doing a broad research like like this from here you're able to see what products are doing well and from those best-selling products you're able to find those micro niches and those specific designs all right so as i go down here there's a couple helpful things we see in regards to data i see of course the actual thumbnail image of the design itself i see how many sales they had in the last seven days and again i see the last sale day if they had an a sale today the view count the favorite count and of course the release date and one of the things we're definitely going to focus on obviously is the sales in the last seven days but also the release date we definitely see see there are a ton of sales being made for fall t-shirt designs and again this is what i mean by being able to identify what things are doing well and again having some data to help you drive your next designs and again we're talking about 153 sales here 238 sales here again 306 sales here and this is only taken into account the last seven days not the date since they've been you know uploading this product just the last seven days you can imagine the amount of money being made in regards to these products now there are a ton of things that we can actually recreate here and design in our own special way and so one of the things I want to note here is just this product here, there's a huge opportunity for us, I believe, to look at this closer and see, okay, what type of niche is this? What type of designs are being sold here? Just to add in some different variation as opposed to what we normally see when we search up this product on Etsy. So let's just look at the data here before we move on to Etsy and see the results. This product sold 95 times in the past seven days. It has sold today. Again, we see the view count here in its entirety. And just in the last seven days, it has received over 4,000 views. And again, we see the number of favorites and the release date was July 8th, 2023. We see some great tags we can use as well for our product, but we definitely wanna go in here and see if we can make something different, but still stay true to what is obviously selling well and visible here on Etsy. All right, so I opened up this product in Etsy and just to confirm some of the data we found with Insight Factory, obviously we see the best sellers badge. Again, it has a high sales volume in the past six months and we know in the past seven days it has received a lot of sales. We also see this little indication from Etsy that this product is in demand because nine people bought this in the last 24 hours. I think that's so huge for us to actually get these notes from Etsy because again, we see clearly the opportunities for us to sell related items like this as well now before we go and create a design to fit in this niche one of the things that you definitely want to do is actually copy the first line of this product here so we'll have cozy season fall sweatshirt and you definitely want to copy this and actually put this in the etsy search bar to see the results because again we definitely want to add in 
a new variation and add in some new value points here. We definitely want to see what is being sold just on that first page and how we can add something different to make our product stand out. All right, so from here, we plugged in that key phrase, cozy season fall sweatshirt in the Etsy search bar. And as I scroll down here, this is what I mean by you can quickly identify that people are taking obviously the same PNG file or recreating it to really be a carbon copy of what is selling well. I would prefer to see something more so like this in a different style. Again, this one here in a different style, this one here in a different style as well. But again, being mindful that we have a ton of copies here, we definitely want to add in something different into this marketplace. So again, one of the things I like to do is when I am designing my product, I like to keep this open just to make sure that I'm not creating something that is already here. I want to definitely take notes of things that's working well. We definitely want to take the word cozy and obviously the word season. But again, we definitely want to recreate this in our own special way and bring something new that's not here that we can add more value to this marketplace. Now, one other things we're definitely going to add to our design to make it stand out even more is just these fall alphabet letters I'm going to pull from Creative Fabrica. Again, the overall goal here is to stay within the bounds of what works. So we definitely want to take that phrase, but to utilize some of these fall alphabet letters here into our design space. All right, so here we are in Canva and we definitely want to create a custom t-shirt canvas for our particular design so i want to go to custom size and the size that i always go to is 5000 by 5000 pixel for my design to get the highest quality print so i would go and create my design here now i already downloaded my specific letters from creative fabrica to utilize for my design and of course we're not utilizing the entire alphabet but just the specific letters to spell out cozy so i can add that here to my design and now i have that for me to use all right so from here i definitely want to shrink down all of my letters here just so they can have the same size and I can do that here. And then from here, I can go ahead and separate them to spell out my word cozy. All right, so here is the design we have created utilizing those fall letters for our fall season design. And so in our case today, we definitely have the cozy season laid out here. And again, I utilize some script font to really bring out this t-shirt design. And again, just having the specific letters here on the top with those unique fall outlines, I think it's pretty good as well. And so we have the cozy season design here. And I created two versions of this. I created a black text version. Obviously my text at the bottom is black and I created a white text version. And the reason why I did this is because I know I'm definitely going to sell this on a multiple color t-shirts or sweatshirts. So I definitely want to provide that color variation right here in Canva for me to have that option to utilize different color Products. So from here, we can definitely download this and upload this to our print on demand software. Now, one of the things I'd like to do is go ahead and upload some quick mockups to my canvas here. And the reason why I have these things here, because I can actually drag and drop over my design right here while I'm literally creating my design to make sure everything is going to work out well before I go through that entire process of downloading and uploading to different softwares to print this particular product. So in our case today, I definitely want to highlight this. I grouped everything together because it's a finished product. I want to hit control C, which is my version to copy. And I want to head over to a bright color t-shirt and see how this is going to look. Now in our case today, we're definitely going to sell sweatshirts. So I have a white sweatshirt here and I can just simply hit control V, which is my option to paste. And I can just move this down to size and just get a glimpse of how this product is going to look once it is printed out for my customer. And if I see anything that doesn't match up well, I can make some changes here. But in my case today, I think everything is working out well for this specific design. Now, one of the things I like to do also is to bring down the transparency to allow this design to blend in the shirt as if it's printed on it. All I have to do here is go to this option of transparency and just bring this down a little bit here. And again, that would give me a more realistic look in regards to how this will be printed out for my customer. So again, I think this is perfect for our bright color products for us to start selling on Etsy. And the same thing here, because I do have my white text version, I can simply copy this with control C and head over to my dark color products. In my case today, in my case today I have a dark heather gray t-shirt i can actually create this on and so again i have my product here and again the reason i do this is just to make sure that everything is lined up well and if i do need to make any design changes i can go ahead and do that and again same thing i did with my white color t-shirt i can bring down the transparency here 
just for this to blend more into the t-shirt and just represent how this will be printed out for my customer and i think everything looks well here and i can go down all the way to the bottom for my black sweatshirt again hit Control v which is my version of copy and see how this is going to look as well and again this just saves you time so you know exactly how this is going to be printed out and again if you need to make any changes you are able to do that right now this is a really good design we can actually start selling on etsy again we've seen the other designs that sold on etsy and i think that this is bringing something new into the marketplace and i think this is something that can stand out above the rest of the competition now if everything is good here i can go to share i can head over to download and I want to say this as a PNG, but I definitely want to make my background transparent because again, I'm going to upload this to my print on demand provider like Printify. So I will click transparent. And because we're mixing in our design with our mockups, we definitely want to be mindful just to select the first two pages, which is the black text and the white text version. So we can actually have this ready to upload to our print on demand product. If everything's well here, I can hit download. And now we'll move over to the next stage and Printify, we'll be able to find our product and actually upload our design to it so we can start selling this on Etsy. All right, so here we are in Printify. And as you can see, there are multiple things we can start selling on Etsy with the design that we just created. In our case today, we definitely want to stick with sweatshirts as we have created a fall design. And so we'll open this up and we will select a sweatshirt we can choose from this list of options we have here. The one I like to go to obviously is the Gildan 18,000. Now with a quick note regarding pricing, we know this specific product starts off at $13.76 for purchase. But again, if you are utilizing Printify Premium, you're able to get this at a major discount at $10.60 starting off. Printify Premium saves you a ton of money in the long run. And I believe anything you can do to increase your profit margin is something that can actually help your business scale so much faster. So in our case, we definitely want to select the Gilded 18,000 sweatshirt. And from here, you will see that we have additional print providers we can choose if we do want to go with a specific partner. In our case today, I like going with Monster Digital. Again, Swift POD is also good to use. But one thing to note here is that you have to see what type of options they have available. In regards to Monster Digital, the size only goes to 3X. But if you are going with Swift POD, the size goes to 5X. Same thing here with color options. Again, these are the color options here, just seven with Monster Digital. But again, if you are trying to sell different type of colors then of course you have more options here in regards to swift pod you can also see the price for their sweatshirts here as well as the standard shipping price and the average production time but again in our case for our video we're definitely going to just stick with monster digital as we're going to focus selling a bright color sweatshirt in a dark color sweatshirt so if i want to go ahead and get started here i will go to start designing and again we have this little box here letting us know this is where we're going to upload our design anything outside of this box would not be printed but we definitely want to be mindful of uploading our design so it can fit perfectly within the box where it will be printed all right so now we want to drag over our design to our product and because we are selling a white sweatshirt we definitely want to add in our black text version design as we have it here and of course we want to be mindful to leave our design right here in the center area of our box now in our case today with this specific design i want to move this up a little bit because again i see that i don't have much here at the bottom nor at the top but i want my design to be right over the chest area of our sweatshirt and i think that looks good here if i want to see the preview of just how this is going to look before i even move on then i can definitely see the placement of the design here and again, I can see different type of mock-ups and see how this is going to look once it is printed out. And if I didn't need to make any adjustments to the alignment of my design, I can do that here. But I think in our case today, everything looks well. Now, we are going to sell two versions of our sweatshirt just not a white version here but we want to go and select a different color in our case black now automatically you will see that the design we have for our white product has actually moved over to our black product and as you can see here the black text is not coming up that's why i say it's always important to create a black text version and a white text version so you can have that ready and available for you to change to the right design so in our case today we want to go to this option here 
where it says make a specific design for black. I want to click this here and now this will give me the opportunity to upload a brand new design like we did before. Drag and drop this over into this space. And now we're going to drag and drop over our white text version and you will see here that the season would now be available for us to see because it is the white text version. Now I like keeping the black text version on here because I definitely want to line up everything according to what we have with the original, but I want to go back down here and I want to erase the black text version and remove that from my design so that don't have any double prints. And so I can go to preview as I did before. I can see how this will look once it is printed out. I think everything looks really well here. I think we're offering some different variations in regards to this particular niche with the cozy season. And I think this will be a great product to start selling on Etsy. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to actually go over how to start your print on demand business from start to finish. However, if you want to learn the step-by-step -step process, then click this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. So always my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.